Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. Maybe we start on the daily time frame because it's a new trading week, it's a new trading day, and then we are going to take a look at the shorter time frame. Ethereum definitely weaker at the moment than Bitcoin, and currently no sign of Ether outperforming Bitcoin. My main interpretation suggests that Ether is currently here in a wave for correction, and this wave for correction um, is, well, yeah, probably still unfolding. Yeah, we might have started wave B there. At least Ether is trying to start wave B. Obviously, such a correction unfolds as an ABC structure in an ideal case. So I typically start by tracking a standard ABC structure also in, you know, in a wave four. Um, in a wave four, technically speaking, you can get all sorts of corrections like triangles even and uh, WXY complex corrections. But anything else is rather rare. So I'm, I'm tracking these. I'm tracking these and um, for now I'm focused on mainly on this ABC structure. The support region that we expected to be reached was reached over the weekend. We did highlight that the main support area is defined between $3,519 and $2,975 with the ideal FIP there at $3,207. That's really the ideal target for a wave four. So round about 3,200, 3,210. That's sort of really an ideal level that I am observing for this correction to finish. But obviously it's not a guarantee. So I'm going to watch how the price reacts to that area. And I did mention it already on the weekend. I'm focusing on lower prices overall, as long as we don't have an impulse to the upside. So without a small impulse, there is no low. Yep, there is an ideal support region here that we're tracking, but obviously it could break. I don't at the moment expect it to break, but yeah, I mean, again, it's it's, it's um, possible. So that's why from a tactical point of view, I focus on lower prices until we see a first small impulse. But overall, the forecast is still for a bull market that's unfolding. And therefore, in this count, we should ideally see a reaction to that support region. Now let's go to the smaller time frame. By the way, before we then go higher into the five thousand dollar region and more, um, I did mention it. By the way, just a quick um, recap. I did mention it now a few times. Also, I think just before the weekend, that it shouldn't be a surprise that this pullback is sharp, because the wave two, which is the same wave degree, is sideways, and wave two and four often have let's say an alternate relationship. So they, there's a guideline of alternation. And if the wave two is a sideways correction, which it clearly is with that overshooting corrective wave there, and the last low not even going below the first low, that's a sideways correction, a flat, flat structure. And these flat structures, when they occur in a wave two, then the wave four is often a sharp correction. And I think that's what we see right now. That can still change, but it's just an interesting observation something that hopefully helped people to prepare mentally for this correction. Now, um, then we have this uh, short term count here. Yeah, I mean, Ether basically did what it needed to do yesterday. The forecast yesterday was for prices to go a little higher and for the A wave to either react to the 38.2 FIP level or the 50% FIP level. So I currently assume this was only the A wave. We now see a pullback in wave B in a small ABC structure. And as long as the Sunday low is holding at $3,414, I'd like to see a C wave to the upside. But there's no um, confirmation at the moment that this wave B of B is finished. Okay, so this is circle wave B, which consists of an ABC structure. And circle wave B is the one I showed you on the daily chart here. here. So this seems to be unfolding right now. I would prefer a more healthy B wave. yeah, And therefore, I'm tracking primarily just looking at the microstructures here, this ABC structure. So I just told you that I'm focusing on lower prices until I see a first impulse. Yes, that's true. But also within a downtrend, you get corrective bounces. And in this corrective bounce, at least it appears likely that there is going to be a more healthy B wave and the C wave should start um, in this area, maybe a little lower. Um, micro support at 3,520, 3,495, okay? And yeah, we haven't even reached a standard resistance. I mean, this was an ideal target for the A wave, the 38.2 FIP. I mentioned that yesterday, but not for the entire B wave yet. 
I mean, there is no absolute minimum for a B wave. So this could technically speaking be the B wave, but it was very, very shallow then, very shallow, very weak though. So ideally I'd like to see, I'm telling you what I'd like to see, what would be ideal, um, it's the price to get into that standard resistance area between 3,738 and 3,936 next. And then I'll keep you updated about that later if anything changes. So that gives you all the parameters to watch for today. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.